Now he's envious from jealous trait. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Regency series. So today I wanted to take some time to focus on some of the other characters other than just Henry and Eliza, plus just so much happened with Henry and Eliza last episode that I was like, I don't know what to do. So I thought we would explore what's going on, the rivalry with the Willow Creek brothers, Neil and William, and it looks like they just earned some money. So Neil here has woken up bright and early so he could come to the Windenburg Palace and ask to court Emily. So we did see that there was a bit of a rivalry going on. Neil is much more forward with his affections towards Emily. Let me knock on the door. And we don't 100% know if he actually likes her or if he just likes her because his brother was showing interest. Honestly, it could be both. Oh, she is outside, but we're gonna, ha we're gonna knock on the door. Hi, Emily, we are here to see you. So I am going to... Have him ask to court because we haven't done that quite yet. Ooh, share in securities, regency, ask to court. So what happens if we do this? Also, will she say yes? I, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. So let's see what this action is. Because it is, I think, good to explore some more of this mod. And this is just one of the features that come with it. Their friendship is pretty high. Oh, oh! <gasps> Lady Princess Emily Wittenberg has declined Prince Neil's offer to courtships. Perhaps it was from the lack of affection or perhaps Lord, Lord Prince Neil. <laughs> Prospects to be lacking. Oh my God, she said no. Neil, I'm going to have you ask Emily to go on a chaperone date. So she said no, no to the courtship and it was saying like maybe it was for the lack of affection. But I don't think that Neil is one to back down. So we're going to go on a chaperone date, plan a social event. I was thinking in the next episode we could do some sort of tea party. So we're going to do a chaperone date first. Date Neil, other date is Emily. Emily chaperone is Emily's mother the queen queen in uh, queen Isla not Ingrid oh god I get them mixed up all of them have I names Ingrid Isla and Irina oh my gosh that is so confusing okay um so for maybe in town let's do that let's, let's go into town all right so I'm gonna have them sit together and we're going to try to build a romance with Emily and Neil flirtation compliment appearance we'll start with that oh hello mayor okay <laughs> let's see if we can get a little bit of a romance going it looks like Emily is oh my gosh oh she does not like that um oh my god Neil is so flirty though. And it does look like Emily's flirting back a little bit. Although they are in a group conversation. So let's stop that. Let's not be in a group conversation. Confession traction. Mayor, can you go away, please? Oh my gosh, she's feeling very embarrassed. This is going horribly. <laughs> Hold your horses for unsuccessful romance with unflirty Sim. This is not going well. She is very sad and he is very embarrassed. Okay, wh why don't you be a little bit more friendly? Discuss sad mood. Be like, oh, um, why are you sad? I don't feel like me is that empathetic to be honest I just don't he, I don't know he, he doesn't come off that way oh my god he can do a smooth recovery let's see if that works that didn't work either she is not for okay I have to I'm so curious sad words from socialization hearing something sad really brings the sim down and then worst party ever from feeling guilty around somebody nearby wait will Princess Emily ever feel brave enough to throw another party after how badly that went down flirty rebuff from unsuccessful romance with an unflirty sim and then moving too fast. Okay, so she has that too. Emily is hard to win over. This is literally going so horribly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a couple people has joined this conversation. This is Princess Mara. This is King Helen's sister and Emily's aunt. Um, and then her husband, Earl Matthew. So that is... Uh, Emily's uncle. They've just decided to insert themselves and join this conversation. And then this 
is Jude Taylor. So she's one of the ones that, that was at the Gentleman's Club that William was actually flirting with. And I don't remember if Neil was trying to talk to her or not, but he recognizes her. Um, let's do a funny introduction. He's like, I need to be saved. Uh, this is going horribly like, why doesn't, why is Emily not interested? When in turn, if a girl's not interested, you should just let that happen and say, like, let her say no and, and not keep trying. Uh, but I, I don't think Neil is like that, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, y'all, William is here. Oh, this is the Gentleman's Club, isn't it? That's where we were a few episodes. Wait, is it? Wait. Is it? No, wait, I could be wrong. It's around here somewhere. This one? It is. Okay, that's the lounge. Okay, yeah, it is here. Okay, but William has showed up. Oh, okay, the other girl left. I thought the girl that he was having a fling with was here. Wait a second. So I kind of think that William, I'm trying to decide like if we think he's also interested in Emily, like maybe it is just a friend thing. Maybe he does see her as just a friend, but he has shown up here. So I almost wonder like if Neil got up bright and early so he could go Go try to court Emily and then oh William you don't know her aunt though so I'm gonna have you introduce yourself because William is here I wonder if he maybe also had the same idea and wanted to come court Emily someone did point out they wondered if maybe William would try to convince his parents to set up Neil with someone else like arrange a marriage for his brother with someone else so that way Neil could back off of Emily um, but I'm just trying to decide if he is that interested in Emily, if he just sees her as a friend, which honestly might be the best course of action for Emily because she is not super flirty. She doesn't reciprocate flirtiness well and romance well. It does look like she's reading the Lady Yaps a Lot Society papers, but I'm gonna ask her to cloud gaze. I'm sure Neil is not super happy that his brother is here because he's kind of like interrupting, but things weren't going well with Emily as we just saw, and her aunt and uncle even kind of stepped in. Also, where is her mother? Her mother was supposed to be the one chaperoning. Maybe her aunt and uncle took over for the chaperone because her mother had to be somewhere. Maybe, okay, they're cloud gazing now. Maybe William saw the uncomfortableness from afar. Like he he was told that, oh, Emily isn't here right now. Um, She went out with your brother actually. So maybe William went to go like find them. Like Emily is out on a chaperone date and William came to cry the party but again maybe he sees her kind of like a friend a bit more deep conversation um so we'll see how this goes that actually reminds me i'm so curious so for those who are bridgerton fans i just saw the trailer for the new season for colin and penelope i'm so curious what your guys' thoughts are for it i'm really excited for the season but i didn't even think about this for them at first i was like oh a well, love triangle because there's rivalry with them but the fact that maybe William just sees Emily as just a friend. That was kind of giving me Colin and Penelope vibes. Has she been friend zoned? But again, maybe that's for the best. Maybe that's for the best for Emily. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, June Taylor is back. June Taylor is back. She has a she has a romantic relationship with William. Maybe Neil sees her and is like, oh my god, good. Wait, no, now she's leaving. Wait, wait, Neil is like, wait, come back, flirt with my brother. <laughs> Neil was literally trying to get in the way of his brother in June in the second episode because he was jealous, but now he's like, wait, no, come back, flirt with my brother. Oh my gosh, now Emily's father is here. King Kellen is here. <gasps> I kind of wonder though if Emily would introduce herself to June or like maybe June's trying to introduce herself to Emily, but you know, there's like a hierarchy thing. So maybe she's, oh, they're talking. Oh, they're, oh, they're not getting along. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. They, did she just do a rude introduction? Y'all, Emily and June already have like a negative relationship. Maybe June is like super after William. Um, excuse me though, I don't think Emily would just be flat out rude, but this girl is like staring at Emily and seems to be like, oh, you're you're flirting with the prince, but I had a thing with the prince. Even though the prince, I don't think saw that as a relationship. The men in this series are so like, they're so scummy. Y'all, I absolutely love the parcels. Like they just look so good. Oh my God, June is yelling. 
June! You have the audacity to yell at the Windenburg princess. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, Emily is mad. Aggravating conversation. Um, this is from the Lady Yaps. Oh, it still says, oh, oh, I, I, I downloaded an update, so I have to update the strings, but it says Lady Yaps a lot got some filthy scandals to share today, and she certainly doesn't mince the words. Wait, what were the scandals? She can check attractiveness, which I feel like is something that Adeline would do a lot, and also check social standing, which I don't necessarily think she has to do. She is a princess. But check attractiveness. What does this say? Lady Yapslot writes, not all of us can be the luckiest in matrimony. I suppose Princess Emily Winnenberg might make a, a tolerable match for someone that's so low. <laughs> she's not, and I think people talk about this a lot, she's not the most outgoing. She's very quiet. She is, you know, maybe a bit more of a wallflower. I guess even Lady Yapslot writes about that, which is honestly very ballsy to write that about the princess, but I guess that makes sense. I, that's the whole point of Lady Epsilon. But I do wonder, because June is here, and June will not stop looking at Prince William, what if he cools things off with her, takes her aside, and is just like, listen, you're following me around, so I, I think we have to talk about this. Maybe he just kind of ends things with her, which I, I don't super know how that's going to go, but can you just ask to be friends? Oh, there it is. Ask to just be friends. Okay, he's gonna ask her to just be friends, because otherwise, Prince, uh, Prince William Willow and June Taylor have decided to call off the romantic relationship. Okay, so, so now there's nothing, which honestly, I don't know if she would have been super all for that. Like, maybe she's one of the social climbers, but she was like just outright being mean to Emily. So I feel like William is like, I, I don't, I don't know, maybe she, okay, it's okay. It's okay to be a little awkward, wait, that's so cute. He's reassuring Emily. Oh my gosh, stop. I am obsessed with that. Interest, describe a new idea. Feeling understood from being comforted in a socially awkward trait. It's nice to be around someone who really understands. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, they, what are you doing, Emily? Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? Did y'all see that? <gasps> Emily, are you flirting? What was that? Did y'all see that? She was like, oh, the sun, it's too much. That doesn't seem like an Emily thing is the sun, maybe actually too much. I wonder what Neil is thinking right now watching. What are we? Awkward. Wait, what are we? Wait, hold on. What are we? What? What is What is William going to say? What are, I don't, but I don't think Emily, I like you a lot. I'm ready to take to the next step when you are. Okay, wait. <gasps> y'all, they have a romantic relationship. It, it took, it, Neil tried so hard and he couldn't get one. Does Emily like jokes? I don't think she's very jokey, but maybe um, William is. <gasps> Wait, what? They have a romantic relationship. Neil tried so hard. What are they talking about? From paranoid trait and now he's envious from jealous trait. Is Neil still going to try though? Now that is the question because a boy needs to learn when to give up. No means no. Honestly, ooh, new person. Oh, William, yes, be family oriented. Emily's family oriented, that's perfect. Okay, so it does kind of seem like William considers Emily as a friend, but then they did get that bit of a romantic relationship, so maybe maybe Emily was just, I don't know, so happy about being comforted, knowing that it's okay to be awkward, because she maybe was like kind of beating herself up over the fact that she is. So William was just like comforting her, and be like, oh, it's okay, like you, you that that's not your fault, it, it's okay to be awkward sometimes, you know? Not everyone can be like super outgoing and super easy to talk to, like it's totally fine. And Emily just like took that so to heart because she probably has to deal with what, first of all, the scrutiny from Lady Yapsalot, who was just saying she, maybe she'll make an okay match for someone. So she, maybe like Lady Yapsalot is writing about her like this and she heard about that. And then she probably gets a lot of heat from her mom, from her parents too. Especially when like her brother is super, super outgoing, knows how to charm people and Emily's not like that and kind of has to be in his shadow. So the fact that William is telling her like, no, it's okay, like you, that you're not expected to be like that. She's like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so next, um, I'm gonna end the chaperone date. This date, well, this is goodbye of don't call me ever. <laughs>
Okay, we're gonna do another chaperone day. We're gonna do one with Sahar and Adeline. Okay, so we, oh my gosh, oh my God, they're flirting. Did you just see that? Did you see that? <gasps> okay, so we are going to have Sahar ask her on a chaperone date. I don't know how interested Sahar really is in her, if we're being honest. It's the slightest bit of a romantic relationship. Um, it doesn't really have anything else, no other sentiments. It doesn't say if they've got bad compatibility or good compatibility, it's just kind of there. I don't know if Sahar was even super that into her, but she does come from a pretty, a fairly reputable family. Maybe not like as good as some of the others, but maybe, you know, Sahar kind of struggles with some things socially sometimes too. So his mother saw that Adeline was interested in him and was like, you should, you should ask her out. Okay, so Sahar is now knocking on the door. So now we'll start the chaperone date. Okay, so they've started their chaperone date. Adeline's mother, Chaya, is going to be chaperoning. And we're gonna take a walk around the lake. So go here together. Oh, we'll see if we see anyone else that we know outside as well. It's so dark and gloomy in Willow Creek and I don't know why I'm trying to make it a nice day and make it sunny. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how into this Sahar is. I feel like it, he was kind of pushed by his mother for this, but I'm going to control Adeline because I think she would be the one to flirt with him mostly. So discuss interests and they're just kind of like taking a, a, a walk around the park. Um, so we're going to have Adeline start flirting and see what kind of move she can pull and we'll see how well they get along. So I'm going to have Adeline flirt with fan. Oh my gosh, there we go, there we go, she's doing it. Oh, oh, did she do it? Okay, all right, so Chaya, I think you need to like sit off on the side. I love the icon for the chaperone day because it's literally, oh, I didn't mean to remove her from the group, but it's literally the chaperone just kind of off in the distance. So control sim, we're gonna have you get out of this. Oh, she literally, oh, okay, where is she going? Hold parcel over there. I mean, that's fine. That's essentially what we wanted. Okay, so now I'm gonna have Adeline flirt with Fan again. This is literally one of my favorite. I, I also just saw Swoon. I think that's what Emily did too. Confront about... Wait, oh my God, is this it? The Little Shop of Horrors reference if we confront about secrets. I love too that a couple of you had gotten that reference. So she knows this this fake secret about Sahar. Ugh, not another story. <gasps> Lady Adeline isn't sure when the cringe will wear off after hearing that story. Prince Sahar just told nothing kills a conversation faster than an awkward, boring story. Okay, so they're clearly not meant for each other. <laughs> Would you say she dislikes stories? I'm gonna say yes because I feel like Adeline is also very self-centered and enjoys talking about herself. So when people tell a story or talk about something else, she just like brings it back to herself. Now that the secret is known, Lady Adeline can choose to inform Prince Sahar that she will hold onto that secret forever or blackmail him to keep the secret for cold hard simoleons, what? Also, it's a suggestive conversation right now. Sahar is feeling flirty. Their romantic relationship's going up, but not if she blackmails him. Malicious blackmail. Would she straight up do it? Oh my God, he's flirting with her. He's flirting with her. Also, what is this secret? This is literally from a little shop of horror secret. It, what, is there anything else we can say the secret is? Like something more believable to the story? Okay. I might save the blackmail for the tea party that the Oasis Springs family will have in the next episode. I need to come up with something else though that the secret is. Something that's kind of similar to what it was. Basically, it, it's just about like him having a piranha plant that almost ate everybody and uh, yeah. So I think she's willing to blackmail. I think that Adeline's a social climber. Maybe she can pry for other secrets and we can get something that's a little bit more believable. I wonder if she's got a preference on who to go after. Like, and honestly, do we think she'd go after William too? Also, this is interesting. She has such a bad relationship with Sahar's cousin, Alisa. Al I can see her totally trying to be a social climber, marry at least one of the princes, but she she literally has an option of three. But I think right now she thinks Sahar is going to be the easiest one to swoon over. Speaking of swooning, that was one of the things I saw that I think Emily did. So swoon, he's talking about sports, but this, I think, I'm pretty sure this is what we saw Emily do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sahar's totally falling for this. Is he enamored with her? She's feeling very flirty, so, so romantic from swooning. All members of the ton know to be careful with acts of physical affection, but if a lady happens to swoon, well then a touch of the arm, a brush of the hand. It's quite intimate, stop, I love that. Okay, I think she's like full on taking advantage of Sahar here. So maybe he is interested in her. Maybe he is starting to fall. Wait, y'all, she is not for him. You guys see that? She's totally trying to trick him and use him. Oh my God, okay. So we're going to end this here. And then in the next episode, and then in the next episode, oh my God, she dropped her handkerchief. She's pulling a move on him. Oh my God. Oh, he has no shoes on. I just realized that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all, cool it down. Cool it down a little bit. Don't do anything. Don't do any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool it down. All right, we're good. The sun is starting to set too. But in the next episode, the Oasis Springs Royal family is going to have a tea party and we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Okay, let me know what y'all think. That was wild. I love that the date was originally Neil and Emily and then things were going so horribly wrong and William was just there and like started getting a romantic relationship with Emily instead. And then Sahar, I didn't think he was going to fall for things with Adeline, but it looks like he's kind of falling head over heels for her. And as we saw, it doesn't really seem like her feelings are genuine. So I don't know if he's going to get his heart broken. We're going to have to see in the next episode. And then maybe we'll check in with Henry and Ezra in the next episode as well. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!